right, so we are going to some sort of rummage though. Good morning, everyone. We got a serious, legit tank right here. What in the world? All right. We are heading out to like some rummage sale flea market thing for some church around here. I have, I've never been here, so I have no idea what to expect. Um, but we'll figure out this real soon. Oh, I think this is it over here on the right. Market parking go this way. There's Ernie. Ernie the legend. Ernie! How's it going? Alright. I just got here. You got fun, Mike. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hmm? How you doing? Alright. Why are you doing here? You make the media some dollars. <laughs> What's that doing in here? It's already been picked out, so I don't know. I guess I start digging. It's all their clothes. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I got a pile going here. I found finally one vintage piece. So this is a Super Bowl t-shirt. Really cool. 1994. I bet it's got anything on the back now. So, first vintage piece of the day. I think every, everything's a dollar. So. It looks like no one's even went through any of the clothes. It's all still neatly packed. So. Doing alright. Now we're going to stand in line for the church. And I think the church sales, like apparently the really good stuff, there's a pretty long line outside. So we're going to go in there and see if we can get anything, but figuring so far back in the line that maybe not.
120. I don't know what this thing is behind it. That uh, that sale it was a good sale. Um, I completely screwed it all up. So I went to the bargain center, and I thought the bargain center was where they had the clothes. Um, I didn't realize that uh, there was a whole tent for just men's clothes. And so I went through the whole entire place. I went through the holiday section. I went through the glassware. I went through the bargain center twice. I went through the sporting goods twice. And then I realized there was a men's clothing section. I got over there, and there was another reseller there, and he literally had probably three boxes of clothes. He probably spent over $100. Um, and, I mean, he had vintage Disney. He had vintage baseball. He had, I think, a Patagonia Aztec fleece. Lots of distressed um, denim jeans. So he knew what he was doing, and uh, he beat me to it. So I guess... Uh, it's like anything, though. Whenever you go to something for the first first time, you have to kind of just learn and understand how it works. This place was kind of like that huge rummage sale in New Jersey that I went to with all the tents and I think it's the V&A rummage sale. But you never know. You know, you got to come out here and try this stuff. Overall, I got a couple things. I think I spent $12. Probably got about $150 worth of inventory. So, I'm not too upset over it, even though if I would have got the other stuff, I probably would have had $1,000 in inventory. But you live and learn. That's the one thing about the business. You can't know everything from the start. You can't know how these things work straight from the start. This is the first time I was here. Uh, moving forward, I probably wouldn't go inside the church because everything was eBay priced. Uh, and the reason why I didn't get the galvanized milk, milk box is because I've had two in the past. And it's very hard to get 10 bucks. I've had them for multiple weeks asking 10 bucks, and those had advertisement on this. This did not, and galvanize, I think this year is just not hot. So, goes in and out, is what it is, but we'll see what else today has in store and move on. Okay, so, didn't find any rummage sales here, but now we're in Wind Gap, Pennsylvania, at the old post office. The old post office got a bunch of sales overnight got some hat sales um, I sold one sweatshirt one sweatshirt um, a Bloomsburg 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 sweatshirt 
It's kind of like a quarter zip. I think I got it last week at the thrift store. Very surprised because it's summer now to be selling. Got a nice looking dog though. Very surprised because it's summer now and people are buying sweatshirts, which is strange to me. Strange to me, but I guess if you're going to college or you got admitted, now's the time. All right, so finally made it back. I actually spent about three or four hours doing eBay and Etsy stuff, catching up with that. Probably got about 40, 50 listing, listings done, packed up a couple orders, answered a couple questions. Now I'm in the warehouse, kind of just tidying up a little bit. I did throw some books in here that I had on eBay that didn't sell. They're somewhere over there. I, I put them over there. Um, I threw them over there because I'm going to take those to the flea market. I have a pile in that corner of stuff that I want to take to the tailgate auction. Some like um, antique bottles. There's two boxes of antique bottles. There is a box of comics. So stuff like that at the tailgate auction always gets five, ten bucks a box. Or five, six, seven bucks a box. And I've taken to the flea market so many times that, you know, no one even wants it. They walk by because it seems like I have the same stuff over and over. So we're going to try that one week. License plate project is coming along really, really nice. I put another two columns or two rows on the right side. I still got, I'm probably not even, eh, I probably got about another plate and a half. Maybe two plates until I'm right in the middle in terms of right in the middle, middle over there. Um, but it is coming along. Hopefully you guys see your plate up here. If you don't, if it's a duplicate, it's going to be going on that wall. If it's an international plate, it's going to be over there. I have four up there. I have uh, two, four Canadian. I know there's an Australian plate or a New Zealand plate that I have. A Germany plate, I'm pretty sure. And they're like long, narrow plates. So I might put them above the windows or below the windows. We'll figure out something with that. But trying to keep this wall, everything is different in terms of the style. So you'll see we have a Pennsylvania up there in that common color. This is what we have now. And I have another Pennsylvania plate over there in yellow. I have a Pennsylvania blue plate that's going up there. But I didn't want to have Pennsylvania plates all right here and then over there not have any Pennsylvania plates. So I kind of wanted to save one for another two or three rows. Kind of goes that with a lot of things. I know I have Texas down there. There's probably another Texas somewhere. Well, we have Arkansas. Well, we have Texas right there. So we got one, two. I know there's another one somewhere. I don't know where it is. But yeah, I didn't want to keep all the states on one side. I guess it really doesn't matter because you don't really look at this and think, oh, there's Texas. Oh, there's Texas. There's Texas. There's Texas. You just look at it and it looks nice. So maybe I'll just start throwing up plates up there regardless of their demographic in terms of what state they are. I also didn't want to put too many colors that are the same. I like the mismosh kind of look to it. You got a yellow plate there, a yellow plate there, one up there. So I'm thinking one should be over there. So I didn't want to put another one right next to it or down here because I feel like it's just too close. Some of the solid colors pop out a lot. I don't know. I'm thinking too much like an artist about it. The reason why I kind of have taken a standstill, well, I added two rows recently, but um, I do want to move the ladder over and I got flea market stuff in the way, so I was thinking, hey, if I go to the flea market, I'll sell that stuff. But it rains every flea market. It rains every flea market day, so I really can't even do that. It's uh, it's kind of been a bummer of a season in terms of flea marketing, but you never know. Uh, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we did go to that rummage sale. It was really cool. I wish I would have got there earlier, and wish I would have figured out that the men's clothing was in its own area rather than you know going through the whole shebang and you know doing all that. But you live and learn, and that's one thing in this business, especially in rummage sales and flea markets. You gotta have experience, you gotta experience, you gotta go out there, you gotta see what's about. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, and if you want to see more treasure picking videos just like this, definitely subscribe to the channel. As always, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace!